Struggling to create content for Instagram? Yeah, we've all been there. Let us help you out. Instagram can be a little tough. It's obviously very different from other platforms and you have to tailor your content accordingly. Thankfully, as per usual, CapCut's got your back. I'm gonna share a few tools that will help you edit for Instagram to increase your reach and engagement. But before we get into all of it, make sure you're subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. We post a ton of tutorials for creators and I don't want you to miss a thing. All right, now that you're subscribed, let's dive in. Something that sets Instagram apart from other platforms is that it's highly visual. Sometimes it's less about what you're saying in your video and more about the aesthetic, the look, and the feel. With this in mind, you wanna create visual interest and make sure that your content is dynamic and eye-catching without feeling too chaotic. A great tool for adding visual interest, zooms. You can zoom in for emphasis or comedic effect. You can zoom out to showcase more of your aesthetically pleasing setting. It's totally up to you. Adding a static zoom on the CapCut mobile app is super easy. Start by splitting out the clip that you'd like to zoom in on. Then on the player, you'll pinch your fingers together to zoom in or pull them apart to zoom out. Now you can see that this clip moved in closer, and when we move to the next clip, it's back to its normal placement. If you ever wanna do a slower zoom in, you'll need to keyframe. Select the clip you'd like to work with, and then scroll along to the moment when you'd like the zoom to start. Next, tap on the diamond icon right here under the player. This signifies your starting point. Then scroll over to the moment in the clip when you'd like the zoom to stop. Finally, using the same method as before, either pinching your fingers together or pulling them apart, you can zoom in or out as far as you'd like to take it. Now when you play your clip back, it will gradually zoom instead of happening suddenly. This can make things a little bit more subtle while still adding that visual interest. I find that keyframing works very well when storytelling because it adds more emphasis on the point you're making. It can also build tension or add a little comedy. And continuing on with the visual interest game, did you know that 85% of Instagram users watch reels with the sound off? That is a very large majority. So while you're going to focus on making your visuals as interesting as possible, you also need to make sure sure that if you're talking in your content, people will understand what you're saying. There is nothing worse than being somewhere quiet, trying to watch reels, and then having to skip a video that you're genuinely interested in because they're talking and you can't have your volume up. A great way to combat this is by using auto captions. I recommend auto captions even if you're on a platform that people use with the volume up because it'll make your content more accessible. Plus, moving captions on a stagnant video will keep your audience locked in. To add auto captions on the CapCut mobile app, head into the captions menu, select a template, and generate. It's that easy. Once your captions are generated, you can customize the font, style, and animations to work well on Instagram. Like I said, Instagram is all about aesthetics, so make sure you're using a font that's pleasing to the eye. Thankfully, CapCut has a ton of font options to choose from, so there really is a font that will work for whichever vibe you're trying to create. Personally, I also like to go into the Style tab and add a stroke around my text. I think it just makes it a lot easier to read. Finally, you need to know Instagram's safe zone, as in where you can add your text so that it's not blocked or cut off by Instagram's engagement buttons, your caption, and so on. I have an Instagram safe zone overlay that I can put on top of my video in the player to make sure that everything good. To add it in, I'll head into the overlay menu and select add overlay. Then I'll choose the safe zone overlay from my photo album and adjust it within the player. Now I can move my text within those red lines to make sure that everyone can see it. Your captions and title text aren't going to help you if your audience isn't able to read them, so definitely make sure that everything is legible and in the right spot before exporting. With these tips and tricks, I hope you feel a lot better about sharing your content on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely a little bit of a learning learning curve, but I have no doubt that you will absolutely kill it. What kind of content are you making on Instagram? Do you have any other hot tips for creators? Drop them down below. And since you're an Instagram content creating machine, definitely download the CapCut app. There's the mobile version that we talked about today and a desktop version so you can start editing your next standout reel today. And with that, I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye.